Welcome to the fourth and final custom tactics video of the week. Got you guys set up for Ultimate Team of the Season Foot Champs Weekend League. We've already covered 4 triple 2, 4 2 3 1, and Narrow, so they're all on my channel if you're interested. But let's get into the 4 4 2 tactics. Goalkeeper, we're keeping on, comes for crosses, and sweeper keeper, same as most formations. Fullbacks, we're gonna keep stay back while attacking. You know, drill by now, you gotta stay solid defensively. That's what we're doing. Left and right, right mid though, however, we're going with stay forward and get into box across. Stay forward because a lot of people run in tree back. Stay forward on wide players is really helpful to start counterattacks and really exploit that. Um, but also you'll see with the center mid, it's kind of why that is. But anyways, there that is the same for both of them. Then center mid, you go and cover center, stay back. So they're actually going to be staying back pretty much the entire time. Which means you're going to be starting a lot of your attacks via those left and right mid players. So that's really what you want to do. You want to always try and find your wingers. Then at striker, you got them just chilling on balance everything. Of course, with your center mids on stay back and no cam, you can't have both of these guys on getting behind. Otherwise, it's going to be really hard to find that pass. With them on balance, they'll come kind of a bit deeper sometimes for the ball. You'll be able to dribble pass into them quite nicely. So over to the instructions. Defense, same as always. We like the 70 defense on next gen, but of course on old gen, drop it all the way down to 40 is what I recommend always. But 70 does work on old gen as well if you kind of want that auto outside trap to be a bit more aggressive. Build up play, these are next gen stuff. For old gen, like I said, the double balanced, very nice. If that's kind of too boring for you, what I would recommend is long ball balanced. I feel like that's really effective as well. Either way, you, you can also use direct passing, but it's nowhere near as effective as direct passing is on next gen. On next gen, you have to use direct passing. It's just not even a question. And then everything else, fairly balanced. We'll head over to the ultra attacking. Of course, it's on the other videos, but in case you haven't seen them, you guys can pause that there. They're pretty self-explanatory. Um, but then when it comes to tactics, just a couple of things I want to point out. One, the, the only instructions on this whole... Uh, formation is left and right mid they're still on get into the box for cross for those kind of back post crosses that can be on a lot so if you guys aren't scoring them nine times out of ten like that it really is on you probably just aren't seeing the run so if you're running down the line with somebody see, see is somebody free back post um and obviously with this instruction that'll happen a bit more second one is that the center mids keep them on cover wing guys you're gonna need cover wing w why you might be wondering well Fullbacks here are going to be unbalanced, coupled with fast build-up, coupled with forward runs. What's that mean? Well, that means they're actually going to be flying. Then you can be very vulnerable to counterattacks. Of course, you're going to be susceptible regardless when you have so many people going forward. But the center mids then will cover in uh, when you have them on cover wing for those fullbacks when they go missing. So make sure to have that on. Anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this video, guess what? You're going to enjoy this video right here as well. If you want to see some more tactics, make sure to subscribe, like the video. I'll see you guys next time.